Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read, beloved, seven minutes every day so you do not have to read. Today's read is for Thursday, December 16, 2021, reading from Obadiah, the first chapter, and it's only one chapter in Obadiah, 7 through 21, and beginning in Jonah, chapter 1. We'll be reading from the King James Version of the Word of God. And it reads, the time. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. Shall I not in that day, saith the Lord, even destroy the wise men of Edom and understand out of the mount of Esau? And thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. In the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces, and foreigners entered into his gates, and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou was as one of them. But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger. Neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. Neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. Thou shouldest not enter into the gate of my people, into the day of their calamity. Yea, thou shouldest not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor had laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. Neither shouldest thou have stood in the crossway to cut off, to cut off those of his that did escape. Neither shouldest thou have delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of distress. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord hath spoken it. And they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau, and they of the plain Philistines, and they shall possess the fields of Ephraim, and the fields of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess Gilead. And the captivity of this host of the children of Israel shall possess that of the Ca Canaanites, even unto Zarephah. And the captivity of Jerusalem, which is in Zerarath, shall possess the cities of the south. And Savior shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord, and went down to Joppa. And he found a ship going to Tarshish, so he paid the fare thereof, and went down into it, to go with him unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship was like to be broken. Then the mariners were afraid and cried every man unto his God and cast forth the wares that were in the ship into the sea to lighten it of their, of, to lighten it of them. But Jonah was gone down inside into the sides of the ship and he lay and was fast asleep. So the shipmaster came to him and said unto him, What meanest thou, O sleeper? Arise, call upon thy God, if so be that God will think upon us that we perish not. And they said, Every one to his fellow come and let us cast lots, that we may know for whose cause this evil is upon us. So they cast lots, and the lot fell upon Jonah. 
Then said they unto him, Tell us, we pray thee, for whose cause this evil is upon us? What is thine occupation, and whence comest thou? What is thy country, and of what people art thou? And he said unto them, I am a Hebrew, and I fear the Lord, the God of heaven, which hath made the sea and the dry land. Then were the men exceedingly afraid, and said unto him, What hast thou done? Why hast thou done this? For the men knew that he fled from the presence of the Lord, because he had told them. Then said they unto him, What shall we do unto thee, that the sea may be calm unto us? For the sea wroth and was tempestuous. tempestuous. And he said unto them, Take me up and cast me forth into the sea. So shall the sea be calm unto you. For I know that for my sake this great tempest is upon you. Nevertheless, the men rode hard to bring it to the land, but they could not. For the sea wroth and was tempestuous against them. Wherefore they cried unto the Lord and said, Where beseech thee, O Lord? We beseech thee, let us not perish for this man's sake, for this man's life, and lay not upon us innocent blood. For thou, O Lord, hast done as it pleased thee. So they took up Jonah and cast him forth into the sea. And the sea ceased from her raging. Then the men feared the Lord exceedingly and offered a sacrifice unto the Lord and made vows. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish, not a whale, a great fish to swallow up Jonah. And Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish's belly and said, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord and he heard me out of the belly of hell, cried I, and thou heardest my voice. For thou hast cast me into the deep, into the midst of the seas and the floods compassed me about. All thy billows and thy waves passed over me. Then I said, I'm cast out of thy sight, yet I will look again toward the holy temple The waters compassed me about, even to the soul. The depth closed me round about. The weeds were wrapped about my head. I went down to the bottoms of the mountains. The earth with her bars was about me forever. Yet hast thou brought up my life from corruption, O Lord my God. When my soul fainted within me, I remember the Lord. And my prayer came in unto thee, into thine holy temple, that thou observe lying vanities forward their own mercy. But I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pray that I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. And the Lord spake unto the fish, and it vomited up Jonah upon the dry land. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer, and me, the reader of this precious and sacred word of God. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of the Smurf Club. For your continued donation of $20 to paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson, paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson, and or dollar sign Mama Pam 23. We are Smurf International Ministry. We're the fastest growing ministry on the internet that I know that's ministering truth. We are 7 Minute Read Family, 7 Minute Read Followers, just 7 Minute Read Faithful Folk. I am Minister Mama Pam, and again, there is a place where you can send donations if you are being blessed. If you are being blessed by what you hear, don't be afraid to send $7. If you don't want to join the club, just send $7 every time you listen to a broadcast. We do a broadcast across these various social media platforms. We broadcast Monday through Friday, Pacific Standard Time, live. Noon, we read a book. 7 p.m., we read the Word of God. But in the month of December, we have taken off to rejuvenate, recuperate, and start a wholesaling business. To see our business and what we're doing, you can go to seniorwholesalers.net, seniorwholesalers.net, and find out what we're doing. Remember, Jesus loves you. Yes, he does. And remember, Mama Pam loves you, and there's absolutely positively nothing you can do about it. Be kind to somebody. Until the next broadcast.